smell. <laughs> Never <It's fine>. ready. <laughs> oh, we're ready. <laughs> Are we ready? Are we good? Yep, yep, yep. Can I be heard? Okay. Yep. Welcome back to the TCS Esports League, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, technical problems, but yeah. We were trying to be so before. smooth, weren't we? There. Yeah, we were trying it was to be just so like, smooth. We're like, we're going to put that video. video and talk about the next Challenger Cup, which is coming up on the 30th. If you want to be in with a chance to join the teams here in the TCS Esports League. In the bottom four, we're taking, far, they're taking part in a relegation matchup tournament. Uh, between the top four of the Challenger Cup. So if you think you have the nerve and the abilities to make it through that, then of course you need two Swiss players and you can sign the next one. It's on the 30th, so make sure you can get in on that action. But for now, let's get back to the main division. Our final match is going to be between Lawsane and the Elvet squad. Bacon, break it down for him. What do you think? So Lawsane, the big tough dogs, basically. They're the big ones in this league. Some really massive star oh, players. Man. Hello. Uh, Kiva, and of course, you've got Classic there. Classic being, uh, sorry, Hello being brought in very recently, actually, after the qualifiers to replace, um, I can't remember. No, it's during the qualifiers, sorry. I'm getting all jumbled up. Basically, this lad is a star coming over from France. Of course, you're allowed one international player within your squad. Maybe not that international. Not going to bring in an American because of all the paying issues, but Hello, fantastic pickup for Law Saint. Oh, and yeah. since Adam in adding him into the roster he has gone on and turned this team along with of course the help of their coach arkan into such a dominant force not only making the uh, rival series players but coming top 32 in the coliseum you know hosted over a rewind so these teams not only are doing amazing in switzerland but the rest of europe they're knocking it out of the park and it's super impressive isn't it jay yeah it's kind of that 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 Swiss representation of the international scene. Law Saints certainly leading that charge when it comes to teams that are made primarily of that two-man core. And it does prove to be exciting things for the, for, the, for the general sort of like national scene of Switzerland and the way that they're being represented on the international stage. So for certain, they are one of the favorites in this tournament. But in terms of this match, yeah, they're probably the, the favorites compared to the Elves, unfortunately. Um, mm. We kind of are predicting to go top of the leaderboard. They haven't quite gotten there yet. Obviously, with Swiss Incredible Rebels getting their early start at 3-0. But their undefeated streak is over. And there's a chance that Lawsane could be able to take the lead right here, right now. Yeah, it's looking like Lawsane are going to be going 3-1 themselves promoting themselves from the 2-1. And unfortunately, Elves just have not had a good start to the season. Essentially, ah. they got that win in week one, the 3-0 against Monk. Very good. Was sort of expecting that. Week two, they came up against, I would say, their bogey team again. I was going to say rival, and I was like, nah, Arctic near enough taking them each time. Unfortunately, it's just a squad that they can't defeat, it seems. Like earlier with Whiff Masters and Silent Sign just not being able to do it. And so week two, Elvets dropped to Arctic. Week three, last week, Silent Gamer were just on form. I don't think any of the teams that day could have touched them, maybe Savet. So Silent Gamer took that one. Uh, sorry, they, it, it was Whiff Masters, sorry, I get my uh, stats wrong. But I meant Whiff Masters were playing incredible last week as well. Um, and then this week, it's Law saying it has been a super hard start to the season for them. And I'm just going to say it doesn't get any easier because all these teams are super stacked. you got to think the lads from Elvets haven't actually gone up against the likes of Savet yet, you know? They haven't gone up against Sir. They've still got tough teams to fight and they've got to fight each and every week here. They've got to put in the work now, Jay. And talking about Savet, they're actually up against the next week. Uh, the mm. first match of the week, actually, for Ooh. our fifth match day, of course, for those of you interested in that's on the 20th uh, coming up. So I'll make sure you tune back in for that next week. But for now, we've still got through to get through our fourth week. So uh, let's go ahead and do that with a quick prediction, Bacon. Are you going with Lawsane or Elvets on this one? And how far do you, th do you think it will be? I think we could be seeing a sweep here from Lawsane. I really don't hope it. I yeah. really hope, of course, that Elvets turn up today. I just, Law Saint, after being taken down last week, remember in a 3 2, it was super close. I think Law Saint are going to come back with a bit of a grudge. So let's see that unfold on the pitch, Jay. Pretty sure you'll be thinking the same as me. Yeah, I'm predicting Law Saint another sweep right here. They are on the blue side of the pitch with early control initially favoring the Elvet side, but challenging in towards that corner will allow a clear for Classic. It's Kiva and Classic combine as well. That all out towards the mid center. Hello. 
to follow through and go for a shot on target. The first shot taken by the Law Saints side. Lubri with the first save, however. Kiva oh, with a great shot opportunity. It's a shame that his teammate was not set up towards that corner because that would have been a goal right there in and of itself. Hello, keeping control. Classic. Keep it away from that backboard alongside Hello's real quick redirect. Back in the woods, the corner where Classic is rating alongside Kiva in the mid-center, but no early goals to be scored. The shot opportunity to be taken by Arku. No, denied once again at the very last hurdle by the Lorsa inside. A lot of different strategies that Elvet could pull out here. Normally, they play with Otter playing a very aggressive single attacker, and then Lepre and Arku doing their own little thing as a little jury. You know, it's like they've got two different split teams working together. I don't know how that's going to work today, essentially, because if they, they could choose to near enough go all out aggression and try and outplay their opponents in Law Sane, or maybe try and play a defensive game and go for those quick counters. We'll just have to see how it unfolds, Jay. One of the opportunities being taken by the Law Sane side as they challenge for the mid play. Eventually, it does we'll go ahead and feed back to the favor of Velvet, but classic. Oh, with a very nice touch. Loopery just getting there with enough of an angle to keep it away from Classic Shot Kiva still going to put it on target where Hello and Classic are still on for an opportunity but not to happen right here Kiva out into the corner Arku and Otter in between each other and Otter going to go for the quick wraparound play into the blue box one quite happen for him unfortunately Hello and Classic still going to be here and actually quick rotations from Kiva again keeps it away from the blue half of the pitch Classic with another redirection of his own accord Hello missing Classic, the follow suit, pass back in towards Kiva, but Kiva's going for boost, so it's allowing another opportunity for the Elvet side until Classic finds a good shot in, and that'll be the first score by Lawson instead. Yeah, a pretty nice one as well, actually, Kiva. Good pass over the Classic, and Classic just booming it down, catching Arku off guard, and it's the first goal, Jay. Those sort of ones, they're pretty common, aren't they? Yeah, pretty common style, style of passing play, obviously. The favor of Law Sane. Kind of works out for them in that midfield, allowing them to score the first. But that first is maybe all that they need right here. Elvets haven't seen many shot opportunities from them, to be honest. I think that's mostly just down to the sheer aggression that Law Sane are putting on the ball, just keeping this inside the orange half for the most part. But Lupri will find one here. Try and shut me up, but Classic will keep me talking, apparently. Just getting the quick save <laughs> alongside Kiva with a clear otter also out towards the midfield. Trying to go for a good pass and his own, but again, the touches are awkward from this team. Elvet not looking 100% confident. Law saying looking on a much better line of form. Even when these blocks come through, Hello's quickly able to read it, set up Kiva for a good shot opportunity. Won't be allowed because Arku will still be there at point blank to get the clear away, but that probably might be the best thing that Elvet's have currently going for them. Yeah, Lorsain aren't the best team in defense. So you've got to make sure that when you're attacking them, you've got two players attacking. One to, of course, get that initial hit, move that defender out, make him make the save. And then the second to pick up on that save, which may be just lingering around in the midfield, in the sort of like box area. They've got to play that super aggressive style, which might hurt them in their rotations back to net. But for me, I'm feeling that's the best strategy for them today, Jay. Currently, it's a strategy that's working out. One minute and 20 seconds on the clock, and Lawsane have control. Arku oh. wins out a 50-50 challenge. A bit of an awkward one from Hello. Tried to take the higher angle, but that's a perfect opportunity to slip it underneath your opponent. And that's exactly what Arku did. Yeah, Arku just cruising on through. One minute, 20 remaining, one all. This game gets a little bit closer together. And I can't wait to see the end of game number one purely to feel out what this series is going to bring us even more. Ball going immediately back in towards the orange uh, half of the pitch, which in towards that orange box where Lawsane almost took the opportunity to take a goal of their own. Oh, oh but the greens from Arku! Where on earth did that come from? When you bait the opposite team so much that you just bait yourself. Kiva trying to bring in that attack tried to go for that block the 50 50 to get away and unfortunately that was a uh just just not up to scratch quickly ever so quickly the lads of elberts have got their second goal oh man this is uh this is looking a little bit more awkward from the Los Saints side, but Classic still sets up a decent shot. Going to be defended away, but Kiva still got a chance. Goes a little bit too high. Classic on the other side with a little bit of boost. Passes in off that corner. Hello misses his chance, and Kiva is taken out in the back lines. 
So Elvet just hold on with some very quick defensive maneuvers. Classic. Also to follow Sue out on a part of Hello. Playing towards that midfield, 30 seconds. He pinches it off the ceiling. Oh, that could go in off the crossbar. A little bit too high. Purpose of the backboard follow up from Keenan will not be able to land and it will be a return. No, actually, Hello keeps it inside that corner. But can he set up? Can he work with this? Classic certainly trying to get himself into a position on the other side. Pinches it back towards Kiva, trying to go for the redirect, but challenge 50 50 will still come in from Hello. And with 11 seconds on the clock, Lorsain will just find their way back into game one. Very nicely done here. Just keeping that ball bouncing off the corner, pulling out one defender after the other, and then Hello can put in that finishing punch. 11 seconds remaining. Jay, it's got to be an overtime here. I'm, I'm, unless we get that quick kickoff goal, but that's quite unlikely, I think. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Okay. It looked like that might have been the case. Return fire coming in from Hello. Almost going to get that touch together, but the final few seconds play by Lupri with a shot. Arku going to get denied by Classic and Kiva. Going to just kill the ball. Let it touch the floor. And there we are. Overtime. And you predicted correctly this time, Bacon. 2-2 two two on the board, next goal will be the winner of a 3-2 game. Good setup from the players over on the uh, Elvet side. Lawson able to get the first shot in here from Hello Arku there to save it. Kiva on the redirection goes a little bit too uh, too far to the right. Hello still on the other side, still going to try to take control. Kiva, classic to rotate back in. Lupri passes to Arku, going for a shot on target. The demo on Otto, however, completely takes out the stack of the third man of their three-man play out. So Hello and Classic able to pass back to Kiva, going to keep the ball in the mid position, not allow another offensive setup from the Elbet side. To allow Lawsane to just play this a little bit more slowly. Lupri tries to return. That's because Lawsane have realized that their attacks, their passing plays were a little bit too fast earlier on. It means a lack of control here. Again, a little bit too fast. They've got to slow it down to get more control, get that better accuracy, and that's how they should find the net. They're adapting well in this game, Jay. Adapting really well indeed. I mean, they're keeping pace. Still 2-2, two to two, however. Shooting to try so they can break the line and get the first game on the board. Right now, the ball is was in the control of Lupri, but Hello with a quick demo. Try and return back pass in. Arku shooting it back away. That one's actually on target. Someone's got to be able to put that away. Actually, a little bit too wide, but regardless, classic. Keeping it away from the danger zone. As the ball goes back to Kiva on the other side of the pitch. Has to get past Lupri, but Lupri with a very successful challenge. Now goes back to Arku into the corner awkward control off that wall and hello the classic will challenge for it gets it past otto so now it's all going to be up to arku rotating in the back lines classic with great ball control trying to bump arku out of the way it goes off the backboard hello with a quick dunk down oh, oh, oh. reads that well classic to keep this one on target past the hello the redirect denied by arku again and we keep playing on in overtime cool otto can't get it on pass as well this has been nuts. Elvet's not really expected to actually be the team setting the pace, setting the tone of this series. Lawsane are having to play catch up essentially, like I said, adapting to their opponents here, which we weren't expecting coming on into this series. Definitely not on paper, but whatever the warm up was for Elvet's, that's, that's got to be some sort of trade secret here. Intercepts from Lorsane as well are just as good. Oh, a good touch from Classic. Hello, they try and dunk it down a little bit too high and Kiva too far back to try and keep control. And just a pass back towards him, try to see if he can keep this setup going. Classic, another great read of it, but Lupery with another great read. Hello to follow through, but Lupery double saves it, pass back to his teammate, going for a shot. No. Two players to commit to the defensive on that part. They very risky pass back from Hello. Now going off this backboard, perfectly in for the dunk. No, missing again. What do Lorsain have to do here? All their touches are looking a little bit more awkward as this overtime continues to roll on. Now the ball's in danger. Classic's got to get this clear and will be able to do so. Kiva getting a shot from very far angles, but Arku again rotating in to keep us playing on. It's three minutes of overtime so far. Classic trying to put an end to it, but it's just not going to happen. This is just been like a rock meets a hard place here, Jay. Both these two teams going head to head. But in left, right and center, unfortunately, three minutes and 20 seconds have gone by without a goal. And it's purely because the defense has been phenomenal from these two sides. Oh. Crucial touch from Hello, could have kept this one on target. Now Classic's got to rotate back because the counter attack is in from Elvet. Lorsane 
Passing between these three players, Kiva with a miss, but Hello with another open opportunity to shoot on target. Arku's got that save every day of the week, and Kiva will go for another shot. It goes up the crossfire. Hello to try and recover. Classic, got to finish the job. There we go, finally. So many whiffs, so many awkward positions, but it will be game one to the favor of Lorsay. Again, that age old wall analogy. You just got to keep hitting it, just keep batting it off that backboard. <laughs> And eventually, you'll pull out enough opponents to find a gap in it. They do that. Lord Saint had taken game number one, but it was a sweaty affair from them. Oh, yeah. Like, th th this was not <laughs> a very easy game to take. No. So, uh, when I want to change your mind on those sweeps, Bacon? <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I do. I don't I'm not going to lie. Because uh, it, 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 I, I've got to admit, Elvets did show up to the server today. Like, was not expecting that at all. No, they have been performing brilliantly here. The server has just gone down for maintenance, so we're going to get that quickly back up for you guys. Elbet set the tone. Lorsine were able to, you know, respond to it. The problem here is if Elvets can then reach that level again to near enough get back to lead. Because we were seeing a game of cat and mouse here. Lorsine were the cat. Yeah, they were behind at the start, but they finally caught up in the end. You can't be seeing that every single game because... You're saying we'll come out on top. You've got to come out with a new strategy. You've got to somehow work your way around the Law Saints side, don't you, Jay? Yeah, and, and, and that's the key, key thing that I think uh, uh, El Vets need to try and find right there. If they can get a bit more of a confidence stance against Law Saint, mm. uh, because there are some very key moments where it didn't look 100% confident from Law Saint. If you can exploit those moments and try to turn those into counter attacks, then maybe we could be looking at something extremely good. Because as you were mm. saying earlier during game number one, it's just that, you know, Law Saint aren't amazing at defense. They're good. They're not amazing. They're not the kind of like level of, uh, 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 of some of the top teams in the world. So I still think there's a good chance for Elvets if they can get their own aggressive game and keep their defensive held mm. face. Because at the moment, Law Sane's aggressive force isn't looking 100% either. So I do see a chance for uh, Elvets to at least get one game throughout this matchup. Uh, I don't know mm. whether it will actually be a uh, whether it will actually be a, a series victory, but uh, I'm I'm seeing a possibility here, Bacon. You're saying sorry. I'm gonna disagree with you. You're saying Law Sane's aggressive force isn't quite up to scratch. I'm saying El Vets defense has been phenomenal. Lepre, just, he's like the newer of Rocket League at the moment, coming off the ceiling of the goal, no less. The lad has been able to respond, definitely doing that practice in defense, and he's picking up that role, which is a bit, a little bit of a problem here, Jay, because like I said earlier, Lepre and Aku, I'm expecting them to move up together. Unless Otter has really finally merged into his team, has become one and they're working as a three-man unit. I still feel it's a little bit early, but they have had over a month together. We'll just have to find out going on because this is really, it could be the making of Elvets. If they can take down Lorsane here, it could be the start of an amazing run in this league. But game two, we're getting on the way. Indeed we are. Already a game for the favor of Lorsane. And now Elvets will try and put their first on the board. An early goal to be scored by Otto. Not going to quite take the aerial dribble. As Lupri and Arku try get the ball away from Lorsane control. Hello. Good punch off that backboard. Kiva with a bit of an awkward touch of his own. Hello and Classic. Here towards that midfield. And we'll try to put it off that backboard once again. Lupri's going to just go ahead and disrupt the ball's path. I'm sure that nothing will come of it so far. And towards the blue box of their own accord. Hello control off this wall and try to make a pass in towards class and just flicks it over towards the corner instead where no one will be there allow otter take control but allow kiva a chance to challenge a classic with a chance to redirect to that's a little bit too wide very very quick still too wide from the law saying side early on classic still to try and dunk it down but again not quite on point and that's the thing i was really talking about there baking when their setups are not 100 percent and that's what i'm really talking about law saying defensive could be so much better mm. than this Okay, I get it. Yeah, the setups are a little bit off. The shot's still on B. Is the accuracy of their passes, they're not delivering it at each other like we're used to seeing, say, weeks one, two, and three. This week, they're just maybe hitting it a little bit wider their opponents, and they'll find that accuracy as the game goes on. See whether that will end up being the case. So far, it is no goals to be scored. Our coup of an aerial dribble, trying to see if we can get it past Kiva. But Kiva going to set to Hello and Classic. Now going to set up Kiva for another chance. But Otter 
take control before the ball even gets to that position. Now he takes control of his own out towards this corner. Pass back in. If you can get it back to Lupa, that'd be great. But not going to happen. Hello, demoed out of the server. That could be a defensive opening for these guys. But again, it's just going to get fed away. So ball back towards the orange half for the moment in time. Arku missing a touch. Otto will get there, fortunately. It looks like it's the beginning of a, the beginning of a crumble. The Elbet's defensive, defensive stun has been very, very good. Now Hello just trying to force them out of the way instead. So no goal scored here. We're approaching half time. Both teams keeping pace with each other and making similar sort of mistakes. But recoveries are good. Shots are plenty. And both teams are going to try and fight two for nil for game number two. Yeah, these mistakes are not hurting either side essentially because they're mistakes. Oh, an attack. That was a good strike there from Classic. Just finding the perfect part of the net and cutting in very well. Just towards the other side when all the defenders were pulled out to the left as well. Like, you can't get much better than that when it comes to shot placement. The first will be scored by Law Sain. Kiva and Hello start things off on the kickoff, but Lupri trying to return fire. Can't quite get it past Classic. We'll demo him out the server. Allow Otto a chance to go off the crossbar. Follow through. Ball is dangerous. Arku to come through with a shot. But Classic gets back just in time to save it. Now over to Hello, who has control. And Kiva back in the back of the net, ready to receive here. But Arku going off to get a shot on, but won't be allowed in this case. It goes back to the orange half once again, but Classic disrupted by Lupri, challenged by Hello. Lupri will still be able to get the ball back away, and the shot's not going to count. And Classic to Kiva, just going to keep this ball inside that orange half. They've already got the lead. They can waste time to score a second, and that'll be a very good sign for Lorsa. This is a really hard game to sort of pick holes in here, Jay, because I was going to say, Elvets, they need to start pulling that sort of second man up closer into the box and near enough try and pick up on those loose attempts. A bit like what Lorsain are doing here by keeping it so they get onto the ball straight after the, there's that save made. But unfortunately, that would just hurt oh, what? Elvets because they need to make sure they've got someone back in defense because these quick plays out from... Lord saying it's just nuts. I guess oh, I didn't expect the 50-50 challenge and tried to rotate back to get a defensive together, but it came in a little bit too late. And there it is. That is the second score by Law Sane now. The ball in their control in the early part of the kickoff. It's not quite actually a double touch. Denied by Kiva. Great aerial control from him mm. once again. With a minute and 30 left on the clock right now. Law Sane looking good. Elvets. Backed up in the defensive line. Again, the strong defensive, but the hands started to see a few cracks starting to show from these guys. Now Classic goes off the corner. Kiva to try to redirect it off that backboard. Third man to come through. Hello. We'll demo out Otto, but the ball's all the way back inside their half. No one is here. Classic will still get past. An awkward shot almost taken, but Classic does feed it away just in time. Classic's going on a mad run there right down to the corner. Hello going to have to pick it up now. Oh. Connection starting to look so much better. This just brings in Elvet, so they've got to make those blocks. You're going to see them trying to go in for many, many more 50-50s. Shot coming through from Otter. Hello, all deny. Kiva pushed out the way by Archer a little bit. We'll kind of frame off this game and actually just keep that mid-center play. But Classic has got all the ball control he needs. Otter back in. Hello, the challenge. Misses his redirect. But Kiva will get another one in. Lupri will be there to block it as it is on target. Otter challenged by Hello. Kiva also here, and Hello goes off the wall to pass back into Classic with a shot challenge. 50-50 again will keep things all even up. Ball now out to RQ as he takes the ball control, trying to go for a shot of his own. He's going to make this work, though. It's last chance to loom with 10 seconds remaining. They will still try their best because they got two to score. They get this. They need a kickoff goal, but I think they're all out of chances here, Bacon. It looks to be all up to a 2-0 in this game. Maybe a 2-1 if they can get a consolation goal, but certainly 2-0 in oh! this series. Shot not going to be allowed here in this case. Law saying want to give no room for Elvets to breathe as they will be on match point. So close there at the end for Elvets. Just to get a consolation goal because remember, Law saying 2-0. Starting to look more like the Law saying that we expect. Elvets, they have done their homework though, Jay. Another server going down for mains. That's fine. Well, Psyonix are having a fantastic happens. day today. <laughs> it, it's just this new current patch, ain't it? At least the servers, the health of them, like in the sense of when you're playing the game, does feel better. It is just they go down every game or two. We've been okay this evening, I will say. We've only had, what, three downs? I can remember when we were doing the Coliseum, it was every game.
That, oh yeah, yeah. I, I remember that as well. That was stupid. <laughs> it was not a very good day to be a Rocket League uh, tournament organizer. But regardless, it's it's a weird case, like I said, because at least you've got none of the players complaining about the server. Because that's worse when you start a game up and then suddenly after five seconds they've all gone. Oh nah, yeah, this server like is bad. Problems. And, yeah, you've got to loss. Making... <laughs> oh yeah, nah, it is the worst. But uh, haven't had any of those issues so far today, and certainly it's a lot better than uh, last week when we were having issues up the wazoo. Mm. But uh, uh, let, let's not curse ourselves on that yeah, one and get straight back. We've got one more world. game, possibly. We've still got this last series to finish off, because Law saying now on match point, Jay, 2-0 up in this series. They're, they're spreading that gap as well, aren't they? you got to think it was a close overtime there in game number one, 2-0 here in game number two. If they keep on this streak, on this pattern, I don't want to see them get like a 4 0 here. No, I want Elvets to come back into the series. Yeah, I think we all kind of do want to see Elvets throw up some sort of a promising uh, uh, show because they have got a lot of promise. And certainly, game one is evidence of that. Mm. You know, I, I, I feel like that there is still a chance for them to take at least one game away, but it's got to be this game, if anything else. I don't think they'll probably be able to get the reverse sweep in. It just looks like Lord Slayer are way too strong for that right now. Um, but. Certainly, I still think a game is possible from the Elvets. Yeah, just trying to look who we're missing. We've got three from Lawsane, and we're missing one from Elvets. I think it's Otter. Yeah, it's Otter we're still missing here before we can get underway. <sighs> He's just joined the server. And Jay, it's still lost for words. This You can't really say what both teams need to work better on. Like I said, I'm expecting Elvets now to go for more 50-50s. But their gameplay so far has been phenomenal. It's just Law Sane being Law Sane and being able to outplay their opponents because of that playstyle, which is just so perfect on that attack. Yeah, and, and I don't think we're expecting anything less than that. Although that's a bit of an awkward touch from Hello there. Trying to deny Kiva's shot. Guessing that, no, nope, I want the first goal. Or Classic looking to try to take it away from him regardless. Kiva now in with a shot. No one in the back of the net. Lupri will get there. Still a bit of a shot. Missed and the opportunity for Lawson to score the opener going to be denied time after time. Finally, Classic will come through with an opening goal within 30 seconds. Yep, a mistake in defense. Arku should have picked up on that ball there. Lepre, no boost. Yep, couldn't read the ball going out and decided to go for that play in defense. It's horrible. As Lawson now 1 0 up. Elvet's a lot of work to do. Seems so, Classic. This back ball once again. Look at the sheer aggression coming out from the Law Sane side. A kickoff to their favor, and they just continue to rock and roll all up here in the orange box. Arku over to Kiva, going to miss his opportunity, but the ball still remains in Arku's favor. It's going to be a good shot opportunity. Back ball touch. Otter with a redirect. Okay. Arku following it all the way in from the net, and that is going to be the equalizer scored. Thank you, Elvis. I wasn't wanting this to be a sweep. Get back in this, lad. Take it to game five, and then five for one of you can win. I don't really care. I just want this to be a game five because this series so far has been phenomenal. We want more of this high tension Rocket League. High tension it has been so far today with the silent matchup earlier on. And now this <laughs> match between the teams with two similar tags. See who has the better one, apparently. One to one out here in the corner. It's Classic and Co. Try and challenge for it. Kiva also with a chance. 50 50 against Arku. Will be one out by Arku. And the Elvets team just continue to hold defensive passive face. Kiva with control towards this midfield. Or up across the ceiling. Awkward aerial dribble, but regardless, it will actually allow a chance for Elvets. That's going to get dangerous. In fact, they're going off that backboard. Certainly on target, if possible. Hello and Classic. Try and maintain control in towards this corner. Otter with a good touch, but Classic. We'll push it away and follow it back around towards the center plate. Pass it with another good touch to try and put it on target, but it should get fed away from Arku down towards the center. If just look at this stream top, Jay. Raph has put it as Lost Center at sixth and Elvet's at seven. Elvet are at seven with the uh, one win, two losses, and that's a bit harsh on Lost Center. Technically, if you look at the Wik uh, like Wikipedia page, guys, definitely keep up to track with that for all the coverage of course and all the results from the league they're currently sitting at third so remember they're still on two wins Lausanne by every right every single stat should be winning this and it is Elvet who are turning what? up today 
and they look hungry for a win here. Locking out a defensive like no other from the Law Saints side after some very good shots put on target from Albets. They'll clear it, mm. they'll get a shot set up, and they will get a second on their own board this time. Just, again, another textbook play. Off that bat ball, getting the pass in. Kiva picking up very well. Communication between Law Saint is phenomenal here. Elvets again with some good communication in attack. Defense still a little bit lacking is purely because of so much aggression from their opponents. It's so hard to deal with. Now, once again, Law Saint will get back on the attack. Keep this ball inside the orange half because they can win off the back of this. They can win the whole series here and now. But RQ taken out towards that midfield will not allow Elvets to set up a counter attack of their own. Now, hello towards Classic. We'll try and set up a we counter attack back here. Pass in, key with a shot. There we go. And that's another textbook play right there, Bacon. It's three to one on the board for Law Saint. So they've done the bat ball passes. How about an infield pass straight to Kiva in center? It picks up perfectly. Kiva has pre jump for that. That means that, of course, the pass to him has to be absolutely phenomenal. Straight directly to him. Those sort of goals, Jay, are more about the pass and the shot, but it's all about the team play. Nonetheless, Kiva just missing that one. Law saying just keep up in the ante. Elvets struggling here to find the answer when they have to most. One minute and 30 on the clock. Kiva going for another good goal. Elvets oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Just touch up. Hello can take it away from him, but that will be a fourth on the board for Lord Saint now. And unfortunately, it looks like your wishes will not be granted by Santa Claus today here, Bacon. A bit of a shutout coming through. Four to one now on the board for Lord Saint. Yep. We talked about textbook plays earlier, and that was Kiva scribbling on his desk. Just with some dirty little dribbles. Four one now in Lord Saint's favor. 5-1 oh, now in Law Saint's favor. Hello wants a bit of the action as well. This is looking a lot like GG is all of Elvets have mm. crumbled. Even their solid defensive, the defense we were looking at earlier, just be like, right, these this is what the Law Saint side need to struggle with the or gonna struggle with the most. He's just crumbling to pieces right now. All around them, the Elvet side seem to be losing control of this matchup bit by bit. Even the touches are not looking great from Otter. He tries to get it out towards that corner play. Kiva to Classic will go back in towards the orange half where there's only Arku to defend. He's going to try and score for time. His teammates back in a position. Oh, but the play is so good from Classic, almost setting up hello and Kiva for another chance. And they play back into their own defense. It's still 5 to 1, an offensive like no other. Needs to be set up from the Elvet side. Ball out Lupri. Arku with a follow up shot towards the backboard, but it's not going on target. And Classic is going to lead it for Hello. Put it away into the midfield and get it past Otter. Put in for a Kiva shot. And that oh. one's going in. Six to one. Maybe even a Brazil. Give Lawson an inch and they will take a whole mile. Just no mercy from the lads and Jay. We're on track for a Brazil, buddy. I don't think we've had one yet, have we? We didn't get any last week, did we? I don't think we did, no. No, I don't think we've got Brazils yet, then. <laughs> your, your voice, dude. <laughs> you love that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that is just me filled with joy, okay, buddy? I'm sure everyone at home is filled with joy as well because this could possibly be the very first Brazil. We did have one defeated, finishing in an 8-2. So, Elvets, I, I challenge you to ruin this because Law Saying will not want it ruined at all. Well, Bacon challenging his inner choir boy for the sake of the meme <laughs> team dream. Ball to drop, Arku, oh, almost, <laughs> almost denied the Brazil, but it's not ruined today. It's Los Angeles with a seven to one victory in game three to take a full sweep against the El Vets. So the result that we were expecting, but I'll admit in game one, it felt like El Vets were just firing on all cylinders. It's just the same, it just kind of got mm -hmm. snuffed out towards the end there. 
it, that's it. When you're firing at 110%, of course, it's going to just drain you of energy. So by game number three, they just could not keep up. And Law saying they're going to be having a whole carnival there after the Brazil. The lads have worked so hard. They're back on top. They're back on form after a little bit of a lapse last week. And I'm so glad to see it because the top dogs do have to earn it. They have to have the right to be able to call themselves that. And this was a performance worthy of it here today, Jay. Oh, yeah, and that, of course, means that Law Sane will be up in the three to one bracket. I'm not sure, based on the game difference, mm -hmm. whether they'll be able to take the overall top of the table. I think they might be able to. Uh, but they join the likes of Sir Vet and Team SIR, who are now all at three to one. SIR, of course, in case you weren't aware, and, uh, aware the Swiss Incredible Rebels losing their first game here in week number four. So the standings are all for a whack because actually we've got a lot of tiebreakers we need to get through, I think, Bacon. A lot of the mm. teams are sort of grouping it together and uh, clumping up. Jesus. Sort of big... Okay, right. I'm just going to cut in. You talk about clumping up. Team Sir, 3-1. Stavet 3-1, Lorsang 3-1. Team Sir, nine games won, five games lost. Can you get where I'm going with this, by the way? Stavet, uh -oh. nine games won, five games lost. Can you guess Lorsang? Nine games won, five games lost. The only <laughs> difference, Team Sir and Stavet have got four goals positive. Lorsang only... Actually, I don't even know after that. They will be jumping to the top because I'm just quickly doing the maths in my head. They are nine goals positive after that game. This league is so close. Not even counting the two eaches. Silent Gaming getting 2-2. Two -two. Arctic getting 2-2 two -two with Masters 2-2. Two -two. And then, of course, you've got Elvets. One win, three losses. Monk, zero wins, four losses. We have three teams holding that 3-1. And we have three teams sorry yeah three teams holding the nuts two two this league is just so close together it's ridiculous yeah. there are like there are so many question marks going into the next few weeks and although bacon you did say at the top of the broadcast that this might be the week where we start to see them separating apparently that is not to be the case because we've got much more action to come through it's only week four of we of 14 total weeks so make sure you tune back in the same time same place next week on Thursday, the 20th of September. And of course, in case you are mm. uh, not aware, we also have our Challenger Cups coming up very, very soon indeed. Uh, the next one is coming up on the 30th of September. So again, in case you're not aware, Yep, 3-0. Uh, in case sure? you're not aware, that is, of course, the matches to decide who's going to face something at the bottom four of the main division in the relegation tournament at the end of the season. So if you think you've got a chance and you are a team of two Swiss players at least, then you can go ahead and sign up to those and maybe have a shot to see be back here in the second season. So uh, give that a shout. Bacon, any final words for today? Just as always, Switzerland, you live up to the title. Just being... One of the smallest countries with the most absolute most passion just so much dedication to rock league and you just perform nuts out in the field next week we've got some absolute amazing lineups for you so vet versus elvets that's going to be super close if we take anything away from today monk versus arctic swiss incredible rebels versus whiff masters and then losane versus silent gaming next week is well, every week has got some absolutely scrumptious games, and I just can't wait until next Thursday, essentially. Yeah, it's going to be very, very hype indeed. So once again, make sure you tune into that next week on the 20th. But for the time being, that's going to be it from us here at the TCS Esports League. On behalf of Bacon, Spartan, and myself, I want to thank you all for joining us. Till next time, take care. Toodles!